Welcome to the Motorhome and Caravan Show with your hosts, Jay Malpass and Jason, the Motorhome Man Reynolds. First of all, it couldn't be your fault when his life and mine will fall. It will always be my car Trying to throw this shade on me Like they all hate on me Don't bring that rage on me Why they throwing shade on me Like they ashamed on me I thought what age are we? Uh -huh. It's warm outside And we all want shine let you know about it in the city Cause stay in the crib this time Whoa Got pics on the way like the vacay Shoot photo with the AK Got friends by my side Trying to have a great day And I wonder why they throw shades Yeah But it's all on me Let them roam free Like a European Yeah See me pick up the phone Like I'm trying to haul a home Starting to act like E.T. Yeah Rock them shades Now they can't see me Trying to run away But I'm not speedy Need no fake, I just want what's real and I ride that way till I'm free, yeah Trying to throw yeah. this shade on me, like they all hate on me Don't bring that rage on me, no rage Good evening I don't know what to do Oh, what's wrong? It's been that long I don't know, is it? It's been two weeks I know you've had Do two you weeks feel... off doing everything, but Don't you feel weird? Actually, it's been about ten days mm. We had the midweek one. Went pub. Oh, I know what I've missed. I know what I've missed. Go on. The song. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? No. 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 Good week? Everything's a blur, mate, isn't it? It's a blur. It it's is, yes. Yeah, so. Get on with it. Enjoy it. And just, we're lucky chaps, aren't we, at the end of the day. So let's just move on and just get on with it. Uh, could be worse. Well, yeah, yeah, it's good. What about yourself? Yeah, not bad. Just been come back from Love to Stay in Shrewsbury. Right. Uh, which is a nice three days, which it, which went incredibly fast. Okay. Just a bit of a relaxing time, actually. Been really a lot of just lately. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that ends from this afternoon. Yeah. That ends from this afternoon. To be fair, that, so what have we had? Me three, me three weekends away in a motor home this year. That's the only holiday I've had. Right. Time off I've had this year. Has everybody out there missed us? Had the what? I was asking everybody if they missed us. Missed Seems us. like we've been away for ages. <laughs> see you come in. Cabby fever. Evening, guys. Now to see you back on a Sunday. There you go. As long as one person's missed me, I'm happy. Hmm. Um, what are we doing tonight? Open mic night tonight, isn't it? Open mic, open mic, open mic. I like open mic. I know you do. I do, I do. And I've got my favourite guests on as well. I like to know what they've been up to. Yeah. Me? No, not you. Huh. No, no. We'll talk to them in a bit. So, who have we got up tonight? So, first of all, at 10 past seven, we've got Charlie and me. All the way from Ireland? Yes, all the way from Ireland. Okay. Oh, no, so we've got somebody else just before that, haven't we? I can't remember his name. Oh, yeah. Well, we, no, we're introducing a different, a different way we're going to do things, aren't we, really, to be honest? That's yeah. what we're going to do. Yeah. Who else we got, mate? And then we've got your favourites, Next Stop Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, from Listen Thinking Bang. Whatever they might be. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Andy Morley on. I, I don't know what, I don't know if he's associated to a YouTube page or anything like that. I can't seem to find anything. No, no, no. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, now, as we know, we're selling lots of motorhomes and caravans, aren't we? Yes. Right. And we might have trouble getting stock. Yes. Just bring Mark up because I've got a solution. Evening, Mark. Hello. Evening, all. Right. You do not have to worry anymore about getting stock. I've sussed it. Oh, super. I know, I know the future. The 
future. This is the future. Sounds promising. <laughs> Pokemon cards. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, really? Pokemon cards. This is the future, <laughs> mate. They fly up at prices. Pokemon cards. Pokemon yeah. cards. This is the future. Yeah. Oh, come on. That sounds... I think, yeah, we were, I, th I think we were saying this before the show, Mark. Some people get a convertible at, in the 40s. Some people get a new wife. Jason gets Pokemon cards. No, they're an investment, mate. You don't realise it. Right, this one, this one, this one. The Evolutions XY series, right? It's out of print now. Right, they go in. This, this is a booster box with 36 packs in. They go in anywhere between 200 and 250 pounds, mate, and they're rising all the time. He's, he's done his research, hasn't he? You've got to give it him. So, Mark, how's your week been? <laughs> better, than, better than Jason's, by the sounds of it. You just have oh, all the different ones. It's still going on. I don't get rid of it. And then, as you can <laughs> see, what you've got, you've got all the different. You're not taking me serious, are you? Yes, mate. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you know what bad show is to that? that is. All of them, all these oh, Pokemons yeah. have got characters. And everybody who's on tonight, I'm going to find a Pokemon for that <laughs> reason. I, th I thought you said I was um, one of those yellow people with the glasses. I'll find you. I'll, fi I'll find a, mi a Pokemon. A minion. minion. I'll find your Pokemon. I can't be a Pokemon and a minion, can I? Put it this way, Mark. You're not that one, are you, really? Let's face it. I don't know. My camera's not good enough. I can't see. Can't give me thing, are you? So, right, come on. Let's bring Lee up. It's fine. We've got a lot of people in the waiting room. There we go. Hey, up, mate. You're right. How are you doing? You'll stick with right. the Pokemon, won't you? No, but that's pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. Uh, just very quick, Jason. Just very quickly, Barton Blinkard's sound isn't very good. Any particular persons or just everybody's? Just let us know in the comments. Thank you. Carry on. <laughs> pathetic. Yes. Pathetic. Yes. Yeah. What yeah. the sound? It's yours, James. Yeah, coming coming from that way. Yeah. I can't believe we've had to resort to Pokemon. That's Mark. Mark. My Mark's sounds. sounds a bit. No. I'm getting everybody okay. Sounds okay. That's right. just people. That's just his accent. That's uh, yeah. Sorry. How are you, Lee? I'm you, Lee. You're right. Yeah. Good. 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 Weekend's good. over already. We haven't seen you for a while, have we? No. 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 Okay. Busy. Really busy. Right. As you know, we do ask Lee on a Sunday night on the show. Um, and normally he comes on for 10 minutes to ask questions. And we've been chatting a bit about this, haven't we, Lee? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, when, when we just do it for 10 minutes, it doesn't give people a chance to get the comments in and the, the questions in. And then we find when Lee goes off, we tend to get people asking the questions, mate, don't we? Yeah. So, better idea. Come on at the beginning. Then I can sit around in the background laughing at you lot. And uh, feet up, have a drink, watch the comments, any questions coming in, and then uh, we can answer them as we're going along. So, this is the idea. Ignore this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, as Lee says, Lee's going to stick around from 7 o'clock till 8 o'clock. Any technical questions or any questions you want to get in, um, Lee's got to make a note of them. Um, obviously, he won't be able to answer them all, so he'll Google them. <clears throat> And then what will basically happen is we'll bring Lee in and out the show, throughout the show, answering any of the questions. And let, let's see if it works this way. Um, and, yeah, we, we think this is a better way, mate, for, for, for the future of answer. And, and uh, getting it more interactive, mate, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, um, it, the thing is, people are watching what's going on, and then all of a sudden I've been on and gone, and all of a sudden they think, oh, I wanted to ask that. So, yeah, by sort of hanging around, they can just sort of, pop the questions up i mean there's already a couple coming in the comments already so well uh i'll i'll jot them down and then as we're popping in and out i'll answer them as we're going through the show okay okay before i go though i've got to do one thing i've got to wish 
Mr. and Mrs. Foster, who will be watching the show, a happy 40th wedding anniversary. I did a Are service there, yeah? caravan. After three, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. and Mrs. Foster. Happy birthday to you. He's, he's definitely been on something, hasn't he? I know. I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited. The worst thing about it is I knew what was, was coming with that and I joined in straight away. <laughs> <sighs> uh, um, where, are we missing someone? No. No, we're not. No, no, no. no. Bring him on, she. <sighs> what do you mean you're not missing me? God. I missed you, Joe. Evening all. How are we? Evening. You like my shirt? Number one for tonight. Look, I'm injecting colour and, and enthusiasm into the show. Okay, so now we've got like it. Here we go. go. First one of the night. So we've got, John. So we've got, <laughs> we've got Jason. What we've is got that? Jason. Hold it closer. I can't see that. What is it? It's an old Dino. All right, Jason, Jason, you, you called me in. Oh, yeah. It's, well, that's quite cute. It's kind of cute. Much you called sure. me in the week. How much have you spent on Pokemon cards this week? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, depends who's listening. Exactly. <laughs> we do do a second term live for five ninety nine a month, and you will get the uncut version. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like that there. Oh. Lego Star Wars on the back there. Uh, Lego Star Wars is all right. Yeah, to be fair though, there are there are certain things. I mean, I've got some of those. Um, what the little were they pogues back in the eighties, nineties? A little pogue round things. Um, oh, I've got to remember that. Pogs or pogues? Pogs, or yeah, pogs. Pogs. yeah. Pogs. I've, I've pogue song a Christmas song. That's the one. Yeah, not that. No, the no, other if, one. If you're they're Jason, you'd have called them pogues. Yeah. Pogues. But no, they're <laughs> 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 to be What's fair, pogues I've got a band? Star Wars. I've got a Star Wars box, and it's uh, I've got the whole set up in the loft, and also. Um, do you remember those little aeroplanes that you would get in a paper, like a little paper bag, and they were like polystyrene airplanes? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a load of them up in the loft as well. Because you never I think, know. I think I've got quite a lot of Pokemon somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, you better give me. I was <laughs> <laughs> waiting for that. <laughs> how, how, much you want, how much do you want to pay? Mate, if you tell me you've got Pokemon, this is what we do to your house. <laughs> I have no idea what he's up to. <laughs> <laughs> Although my 11-year-old son probably has and uh, probably knows more. <laughs> Mate, I am doing no interviews tonight. I'm pokey Oh, morning. <laughs> morning. Morning. Hey, hey. Morning. Open mic. It's open mic. I love open mic. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you guys agree with me. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over poking on. <laughs> I saw Mark yeah. the other day eating his profits. Uh, I am sorry, viewers. I really am sorry for this really <laughs> interesting show that we're putting on tonight, all about Pokemon. <laughs> the kids all love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get uh, a guest on before, before we just lose the plot? Yes, please, yes. Someone already <laughs> has. <laughs> wait, <That's> wait. <laughs> You can't lose the plot if you never had it in the first place. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Oh, I can see how this show's going now. Oh dear, it was a bit like down at the pub we did the other day, wasn't it? Oh, that was a good crack. I enjoyed that one. Really enjoyed that. Oh. It was nice, wasn't it? Nice and relaxed. Bit of a chit chat, like you're down the pub. Mm. Were you? I know. Oh, we let us down though, didn't we? Never got an invite, did I? Wait, Jake? It's for him. Bad. It was my fault, actually. I will apologise on that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get a guess. No, I watched it right. and cried. Right. Get these uh, questions in, mate, and make so we can uh, get some technical questions, Lee. Yep. Yeah, there's some coming in. I'll uh, I'll get some jotted down and I'll uh, go through them. We'll come back on in a bit. All right, I'll make you see you in a bit. See you in a bit. All right. Right, who forgot, mate? Okay, so next up we've got Aaron from Charlie and me. Let's bring him on. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? All right. 
from uh, Sunny just, Island. Be, before we go anywhere, okay, I know how much you spent on Pokemon cards. So if there's anybody that shouldn't be listening in your room, ask them to leave because I'm going to rat you out. <laughs> <laughs> I've really enjoyed talking to you, Alex. Shall we move on to the next guest? Thanks for having me on. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me on guys um i'm aaron from charlie and me by the way uh that's charlie from charlie yeah, and me uh we have a youtube channel and we do podcasts the youtube channel we review campsites all over ireland and the podcasts i do with my friend called chris it's called the camping crew and we just talk everything camping in ireland now goodbye thank you for having me so i'm right in thinking you do a lot of uh, campsite reviews Yes, that's exactly what we do. No, myself and Charlie head off. We we have a Heimer and we head off and basically we video review every campsite we stay in. So you um, review caravan sites and everything? Yes, uh, from a motorhome owner's point of view. But because we don't bring children with us, I also have to take in the extent of if it's a family of four, you know, when that's we're talking quite, prices. That's quite interesting, you see, because um, on our show each week, we actually used to do a review of campsites. Yeah. Yeah, we have a website called campsitereview.com. Now it's mainly Irish, and if you can go in there and read reviews and leave reviews or agree or disagree, so I just decided to take it one step forward, and we came up with Charlie. Me, my wife came up with the name because she said Aaron and Charlie. Anything with Aaron wasn't going to get viewers. So Mr. Cuteness here is the star of the show. Mm -hmm. So it's we we go everywhere together. Um, sometimes we bring Deirdre, my wife, but the last couple of weeks, it's just been myself and your man heading off camping and reviewing sites. Now, we're seven weeks behind, so we've enough videos made and produced and finished up to November. So, you know, we, we try and stay a couple of weeks ahead of ourselves to, to get us over the winter. That's so good, isn't it? Isn't it? Seven weeks. Since June 29th, when our COVID, all our campsites could open again, we have visited <clears throat> 17 campsites. We normally only stay for one night, some wow. places two nights, but normally it's it's only one night. And I mean, what's the, what's the, the lockdown and everything like being in Ireland? Because obviously that's what it is over here. Um, all the pubs, most of the pubs are still closed. doesn't bother me, I don't drink, but that's the way it is. Campsites are open, but at 75% capacity, possibly every second pitch, every second toilet, every second shower. Some campsites have no facilities whatsoever. So they're only taking motorhomes, caravans, and camper vans with their own facilities. But in general, most of them have reopened with facilities. Right. I'm surprised. So, so, when are the, so when are things like the pubs meant to be back open again? Another two weeks. It's all been reviewed last Friday, so it'll be another two weeks. The, the poor pubs have been putting on, if they serve food, they're allowed open with reduced capacity, but for what yeah. they're calling now wet bars that just serve drink, it's going to be another two weeks before they look at it again. Good move, Arthur. That... Yeah, yeah, because I think if you, if, I, think, I think if we come over there to Ireland, I think we've got two week quarantine in yeah. Ireland. Yeah, yeah, we can take people from Northern Ireland down, no problem. But yeah, if you come from mainland UK, you have to quarantine for two weeks, which is basically going to be our holidays. You know, if you come over in your motorhome, that's basically your, your, you're probably coming over for two weeks and you're going to have to quarantine in your motorhome for the two weeks. But you're going to have to pick a site and stay there. There's none of this. I'm in my motorhome. I go to Cork, Waterford, Wicklow, Wexford. You have to quarantine for two weeks. Yeah, fair enough. So, so are you from down the south in Ireland? No, I'm originally from Dublin, but I'm living down in the southeast. We're on the Waterford Tipperary border. We're, we're actually in Tipperary and Waterford is literally... 30 kilometers from here so we're down in, in this they call it the sunny southeast in ireland so we're just kind of from dublin just come straight down the coast and you'll eventually hit where we are okay so i mean uh, was, i was saying before the show aaron i haven't been to ireland i would absolutely made a lie earlier i have been to dublin i went to dublin last year <laughs> and i'm going to dublin again next year well that's different to obviously where you are right now i mean yeah. where would you go if you were telling people to to come over or go over to Ireland. If you're coming Where's over your in your motorhome, or, or my hotspot, my, my favourite campsite is literally only an hour from my house. It's called the Glen of Aherlow. There's two campsites down there, and the one that's owned by George is just a fantastic campsite. Uh, there's nothing for children to do unless you're into walking and cycling. There's no playgrounds. It's very popular with the British and the Germans. They love it. It's just, if you love walking and cycling, 
the Glen of Arlo is for you. But if you love beaches, you have Morris Castle in Wexford has a 20 kilometer beach. You have Renville in Galway and Connemara. So I couldn't say to you, Shane, oh, you've got to go to. Yeah. We've so many great, like in the UK, we've so many great campsites depending on your need if you're bringing kids you're going to go to the likes of morris castle where you have the beaches if it's just yourself and the missus or your kids aren't into anything and they're going to stay playing their pokemon cards or playing any of their games just plenty of campsites to go to why did you have to say pokemon again it actually looks like me (laughs) (laughs) yeah so it really do like like uh, like over there at where you guys are it just depends on your needs but from doing charlie and me we've about 70 reviews up at the moment we've yet to come across a campsite that we have totally said this place is a dump i have to be honest we have pointed out points that we don't like and that maybe i wouldn't go back for that reason but we've yet to come across a campsite in ireland where we said oh this place is a dump lads don't 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 come here yeah i guess i guess it's more facilities and stuff like that that's around yeah which some are lacking more than Yes, more yes. And some so. cater for more than others. Um, a lot of them cater for families, but if you're by a beach, you're obviously going to be packed all year round or at least for the whole the whole summer. We've only about 11 campsites. Now, I can't speak for Northern Ireland, but in the Republic of Ireland, we've only about 11 campsites or less that open all year round. There's probably even less right. than 11, actually, that open all year round. Um, and then, of course, I, I don't know, you have wild camping. I'm not into wild camping. This kind of just pulling up the side of the road. There's a few places where we can go for wild camping. It's it's still frowned upon over here by local county councils. Why is that? For any reason in particular? Or, yeah. <sighs> kind of. They just haven't copped on like the French have to airs. We have private people turning farmland into recreational land, maybe on a beach, and turning that into a, an official legal air. Um, County Council Cork are fantastic. Cork down in southern, right down the south, are fantastic for looking after motorhomes. Cove has a beautiful place. It's only a car park, but there's grey water, black water facilities, 10 euro a night. Um, But there are very few. If it's not for the private person turning their land into an air, the county councils here are very, very slow to facilitate us. In fact, and I'll probably get shot for saying it, Galway, which is a beautiful city, have been getting very bad press lately. I've been anti camper, right? Okay, I mean, just the UK and, and Ireland, just as a general, we're not as up to speed as Europe are, or are we? We're not even close to it. And as, as hard as we try, we're still not close. As I say, there's a few private people have done it, a couple of town councils are doing it, but we'll never be to the standard. I mean, France, mainland Europe, I can only speak for France. Um, we visited Spain. I wasn't too gone in Spain. I love France. I love the airs. I love the campsites. Um, over here, we've no regulation on pricing on campsites. So you could pay from 20 euro a night for a unit and two adults up to 30 euro a night for a unit and two adults. Yeah. I could do with um, a little bit of help here. Can you get John up for us, please, um, Shane? Certainly. Hello. Uh, Aaron, Hi, can you just explain to John how to do word campsite reviews for us, please? <laughs> John is well able to do campsite reviews now, in fairness. I've been watching this show too long to go slapping him in the head. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> partner. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, Aaron, um, in a couple of weeks, I'll be doing a campsite review. Um, oh, I, I, was thinking, I was thinking about... I was, I was thinking about maybe having one from Ireland. <laughs> Come on over and, and I'll meet you, but you're going you're gonna to have to stay for two weeks in that campsite, so it'll be a very long review. Oh, I thought there's a, there could be another way around we could do it then. I'm just, just we do it together. It out there. We'll yeah, do it together. Maybe you, maybe you do it and email it over to me and I'll put it on the show. <laughs> no, 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 you missed a bit out there, John. Aaron emails it over to you. You put your logo on the front and then put it on the show. I think that's yeah. What you yeah, that would work. Yeah, here's, that would work. Here's me with a beard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can say, oh. I was a bit under the weather. I sound slightly different. But here's a review yeah. I did in Ireland recently. <laughs> yes. And all of a sudden, my logo up in the corner will be doped with your yeah. logo. <laughs> or, or else I just won't bother putting the logo on. The thing is, you gotta, you're going to have to explain this guy here because he's in every video. 
Well, so, yeah, we could we could probably pull that off because my little dog Jax, although he's black and a cavapoo, we could okay. probably. <laughs> you might just be just fade it a little bit. Just put video little, editing is a great thing, exactly. isn't it? <laughs> just film it in black and white. Yeah, well, there we go. That's what we do. Sorted. That's what we do. Sorted. Yeah. Nobody now, know. Now another thing, we, we've got to give somebody the wish. He's been saying, "I want to do some interviews. I want to get some serious interviewing done." And I said, right, okay, tonight is your chance to do some proper serious interviewing. Can we bring Mark on? I can't find it. Where is it? There <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Yeah, I'll run. Now, where's your chance? Never tell you. Okay, serious, proper. Let's get things back to. Hey, you, you go, you say you'll go away for one, one night. Yeah. How far would you travel? How would, how, what's your limit on how far you'd go? Time-wise or mileage-wise? I'll go anywhere. If, for example, last week, we were on our two weeks holidays. We came back Sunday, two weeks back. Um, Deirdre and my wife had to go to work. So myself and Charlie took the five-hour trip to Donegal. But while we were in Donegal, we visited three different campsites, but only stayed one night right. in each campsite. Each uh, one, now, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but if I'm going to be driving five hours, I'm not going to just go up to Dunfannery, do one campsite, and then come home. So I sure, did. Right. Actually, I did four. I went to Sligo. For an hour and a half down to Donegal, an hour to another one, two hours down, and then I had a four-hour drive home on the last day. Mm. So I kind of, I won't, I'll go anywhere. I'll, I'll absolutely go anywhere. But if it's a five-hour drive or a four-hour drive, we'll do two or three reviews. Yeah, it's a long long way just for one night, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. and back sort of thing, so. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, uh... But no, we, 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 we do it. We, we pay. We go as campers. We, we ring and we book. At the moment in Ireland, you have to practically book everywhere online because of COVID. But even before COVID, we would just go as tourists. But I do when I get to site. Now, chances are I'd probably have a polo shirt on with the Charlie and me logo. It is on our van, our camper van, our motorhome. We have a home. Our motorhome is branded with follow us on YouTube. So, but every time I book in, I say to the people, look, you're going to see me walking around with a camera. I'm not perving. I'm actually going to be reviewing your site. <laughs> and, and yeah. Right. And, yeah, and then I asked for permission to put the drone up, and only once we've been told, no, keep, don't put the drone up. But I will always ask permission. Then we review it, and then I always say, guys, this is my opinion, because I was on a site recently where if you love fishing, you're going to love that site. But it's a site that I'd never go back to because there was nothing in it that would entice me to go back. But seemingly, yeah. if you're into fishing, it's, it's, it's the site yeah, for yeah. you. That's, that's the thing, isn't it? Every, everybody's needs are different, aren't they? So uh, one, yeah. one place that you could go to and go, oh, it's not really for my cup of tea. But, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, but, but I will say that. I'd say we may not come back, but if you're into, 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 or if your kids are into, this is the site for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see one of the questions there, that the nightly prices. I say they differ. Some places, it's 26 euro for the night and you don't pay for showers. My pet hate is when you pay 26 euro a night and then it's a euro for a shower. Do many of your campsites charge for showers or is it a one price at the gate I've, and then that's it? I've not heard that of you, John. Nope. No, yeah. There may, well, there may be ones out there, but as a general yeah. rule, it's no. If, if there are showers there and they're open, then it's all included. Yeah. No, well, as a general rule here, I would say 70% of the <clears> sites you pay well, a euro or you have to get a token and there's nothing mm. worse you're, you're camped down that end of the park you go to the sheridan and say i have to go and get a token so you have to go back to the motorhome get a euro go up to reception get a token now a mm. lot of them will say do you want shower tokens we tend to use our shower in the motorhome but in saying that if the showers are free i'll use the showers mm. on site mark you've got a I question there just... Hold on, there's just this one. Yeah, so rolling with the Robsons, quite a few sites in northeast have a 20 p shower or a seal went he went to was a pound. Wow. I you know I can see the point in it. There's a cost in producing hot water, whether it be mm. solar or oil or whatever. I can kind of see that, but then just charge 25 quid on the yeah. gate and let it know it's it's a euro or a pound. Take a the shower. hassle yeah. away, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and equally, I was on a site. I'm one of my, especially when myself and Deirdre and Charlie are coming. I love to count how many units are on the site, and average it out and say, "Your man's getting three grand a night here." <laughs> and then I say, <laughs> "Then there's that's three showers, and then he's making nine grand on showers. Two right. If I had a campsite, I'd be charging for shower. You know, I know there's costs in it, but I would rather pay twenty five quid at the gate." Hmm. 
And, and no, I you mean, can go and have a shower the, whenever you want. Yes. And I mentioned earlier on when you like the Glen of Arlo is my favorite campsite. It's only an hour from home. It's one price on the gate and that's it. Hmm. Is this sound Mark, about right, right, Roland the Robsons? Sorry, uh, the the ones that charge often have better showers, uh, but not uh, not the push button ones that are free. No, on, on on the main over here, a shower is a shower. To be honest, some when you put the token in or a euro, you might get five minutes to seven minutes. Whereas you know, if it's free, you just keep pushing the button and, and shower as long as you want to. So on the main, no a shower is a shower. Sure. Go on, Mark. You've got a question. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, how long would it take to travel <laughs> east and west coast of Ireland? Uh, if you leave Dublin, when you come over to Dublin, <laughs> Shane, and you want to drive across to Galway, now at the motorway, you'll do it in three hours. Easily. E even stopping for dog pee breaks, you'll do it in three hours. North to south is a good, in a motorhome, it's a good six hour drive. Aaron? I've got one last question. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I'll get you in a second, thought... Jason. <laughs> yeah, in a minute, Jason. Uh, have you ever thought about towing a car behind your motor? I do. I tow Fiat 500. You do. Um, you need up to, to last year. Thank you, Mark. Well, up to, up to <laughs> last year, we had um, a tag axle Heimer and we were towing a smart car on a trailer. And we did Spain and Portugal, and it broke my heart. So when I came home, I went down to a Heimer 655 low profile, sold the car and trailer, and I use an A-frame, which is still a gray area over here, to tow the Fiat 500. I love the way what you drive that? the car with the A-frame attached to yeah, it. Yeah, I know. To the I back of the that. motorhome. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just handiness. And that's, that's yeah. just to show how, how easy it is. The A-frames mm. are brilliant. And why it's a gray area here is beyond me. And I did a lot of research before buying it because I, I want to do things right. And I think I'm very conscious that Charlie and me, that people kind of watch our videos for information. And the last thing you want to see spread across a local paper is motorhome guy gets pulled up for towing car illegally. So I did my research and I'm towing a trailer because my four wheels are on the ground. That's how it is over here. Mm. So, yeah, I towed the feed, but not everywhere. It's literally only for the two weeks holidays. If, if myself and Charlie are heading to Donegal tomorrow, we don't bring the car. I go to site. Yeah. I do the review. I edit the video. Usually before I go to bed, I have the video edited, done and saved. So we, we only bring the car if it's myself, Deirdre and Charlie. And so then I'm, could you end up with... Go on. I'm assuming you're retired then, Aaron. I'm not retired. I'm actually a photographer. I'm only 55. <laughs> Hey. Uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm a photographer. I'm with COVID. There's nothing doing in photography. Uh, my background, as you see here, all the CDs, my background is radio. And that's how I got into this, because I'm not afraid to sit in front of a microphone or a camera. So, no, while there's no photography going, we go camping. Uh, they're just working from home here. I've, I've commandeered the office for, for this, mm. because, again, with COVID, uh, she's based at home. So we tend to just to get out of her hair. We hop into the van and go away for a few days. Right, lads. She's happy to let you. Yeah, right, you're happy to get us out of her hair. We're running away with time. Aaron, we could talk to you all night, matey. Is there any chance you could come back on where we could do something with an island yes. special? Yes, let me know, guys, and just stick me an email. I'd love to come back on and chat to you. Brilliant, mate. I'm sorry to cut you short. No, but, no, not at all. Mean, not at all. Glad, like glad to, for the time. John, I'd like to do something with an Ireland special or something. Hmm. Yeah. John, yeah, I'll definitely good. collaborate with you. Let's we'll, we'll touch base and we can collaborate yeah. with you because um, we had been to the UK. We had done Cornwall, but long before Charlie and me. We're only doing Charlie and me. You don't a, a collaborate year with John. <laughs> John, I'll work for you. Sorry. I'll work for you, John. Uh, no problem. But yeah, look, ch check out the videos, guys. It's Charlie and me, our camping vlog. The podcasts yes, are Wednesday. Yeah. The podcasts aren't Podcast. audio podcasts. Or they're, they're just audio. We don't do video podcasts because Chris, my co-presenter, is not television friendly. Shane, can we do a, a big plug for Charlie and me, mate? What do you mean a big plug? <laughs> it's just it's someone. It's on there. <laughs> it's, it's a YouTube, Charlie, Charlie and me. Bottom, but it's Charlie and me, our camping <laughs> vlog. If you just search for Charlie and me, you get some Chinese couple that do <laughs> yoga and stuff. <laughs> So we actually now have our name. If you be careful, YouTube, everybody. We have to be YouTube.com forward slash Charlie and me, our camping vlog. It's, we, we actually have our name on it, so you'll find us that way. And, oh. guys, I appreciate the time, and I love the show. Keep doing what you're doing. Brilliant. And let's, let, let's do something on Ireland, mate.
that's it that's it talk right, to you again guys you. thanks yeah. for having me take care Cheers, Aaron. thanks Aaron. Cheers, Aaron. Bye. 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 Right, he's, uh, he's a good lad. Do you know, the problem was it was running away. We could have no, I know, and this is the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Mm. And I, I'd like to get him back on and do something along with the Irish and things like. Because I'd love to go to Ireland. I think mm. it's a stunning <laughs> place, to be honest. What are you I mean, that trip, the trip, as he was saying, that trip to from Dublin um, over to Galway, it's it's a beautiful run. It really is. I've done it a couple of years back in in a car with work and spent a week over in Galway. It's beautiful, beautiful country if you've not been over. Anyway, come on, we're running away with time. <laughs> right, we need Leon. We need Lee. Woohoo! What have you got right. for us, wait? Right, we've got we've had a few in. And Stephen B, it's not my son by any chance. Um, AGM batteries, I'm in trouble with an AGM battery. Uh, new batteries off grid, and uh, they're failing on him. Now, by the sounds of it, he does a lot off grid. Um, I'm assuming he's solar charging. He needs to check his solar regulator for that because AGM batteries require a different charge status than your regular um, gel and lead acid batteries. So it may be that the bulk charge isn't high enough for his um, AGM battery. Um, I'm not sure if he's got more than one but uh, I had a customer in a couple of weeks ago who had bought a new battery, got an AGM and a gel battery, um, which obviously aren't compatible. They both charge at different rates. Um, so, yeah, he needs to check on that. Look at me, I'm big screen. <laughs> I know. Hey, um, your boog over there is getting better, already. I know, Hello. yeah. <laughs> Still done <laughs> enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, so check your solar regulator um, and, and go from there, really, because uh, that's probably going to be your issue, that your bulk charge won't be enough. Um, and obviously, if you're off grid, it's it's how much you're using. So uh, if you've got the yeah, solar Victron solar charger, um, you might have to check with supplier what your charge output is, because most charge outputs are only up to about 14.4 volts. Whereas an AGM battery requires a little bit more. So it'd be worth getting that checked. Um, next one was from Jason's favourites, Lee and Laurie. Lee and Laurie, Laurie, Lee, Lee and Laurie, Laurie, Lee. Look at that. I'm good at Should that. Should our water pump be noisy when running? No. What man's well, that? Well, it depends how noisy, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it depends what you call noisy. Some people say that their pumps are noisy, and I don't think they are particularly noisy, but the. Um, there are some vans where they are, where they're mounted, when they're side mounted, they are particularly loud. There was a thing on a Can, I just, I can I just cut in there, Lee? Go on. Do you ever remember when we had uh, Mark from Grand Adventures on? Yes. The American guy. No. Yeah. Outstanding. He actually did a video on how to quieten down your pump. Yeah, and you can you can fit dampers to, to them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you fit dampers to to them and it'll uh, it'll quieten them down. Uh, I was going to say, please Jitsa don't watch his video. Please has just commented. Please don't watch um, his video because um, I was actually going to do that video and I forgot all about it. So I will do that. So <laughs> Sorry, uh, Jixa Ten Fifty right? Pilots just put mine is noisy in my Swift. Swift are normally the ones that people complain most about uh, for noisy pumps um so yeah that's uh there are there are things out there that you can dampen them with if you have a look online <clears throat> there's not a specific kit there are things that people have have done to uh to quieten the pumps down um gregor menzies he's come in he's got a new van and he says his hob's not working um no, is that first it thing we... for this would be yeah make sure see depending on what sort of Thing you've got it may have a lid switch your lid may not be back far enough um the other thing is when you get to your gas valves you may have one in a different place and it looks the same as the others but the pipe's going off a different way so you can actually be switched off um, but the first thing i'll check is your lid is your lid make sure it's pushed right back that's a good shot mate yeah. the amount of times i've been caught out on that 
Yeah. Um, Rooney with the Robsons from Locker Leak. Um, little tip. Every caravan or motorhome should carry a tin of silicon spray. Spray it on all your window seals, all your locker seals regularly, once a month. Um, spray your seals and keeps the rubber fresh. Front lockers, obviously, they're in and out. They get knocked down. Um, I'd try it first with check that it's all in place properly and then spray it all with some silicon spray. If that's no good, then obviously, yeah, you're probably going to look at having to replace the seal. What does um, the silicon spray do, Ellie? It just plugs the rubber back up. It just re revives the rubber on it, really. A lot of people don't even realise that, you know, all like your toilet cassette lockers and, I mean, your, your toilet lip seal, you know, you're supposed to silicon spray it. Um, the locker doors, a lot of vans now, Bailey's in particular, um, do say that on the on all the doors, um, reg periodically spray with silicon spray. The, um, the thing is, Lee, though, if you've got a locker closed all the time, that rubber has been pressed yeah, together, isn't it? It's compressed in, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the one the thing is, with, especially with like um, front like bulkhead lockers, they're the ones that people clamber in and out of so the seals do get knocked off and and then they get closed and pinched because they're not you know seated correctly so uh so yeah check it's all seated properly give it a spray and see how you go on from there uh looking at another one that you haven't got there lee this one here go on it was a bit it was you'll see the other side of it i reckon i would like your opinions on the cowboy dealers who have sprung up selling untested uh, so not fit for purpose vans. Now it wouldn't surprise I'm me if you come loads across of these. Yeah. Okay. In what way? Um, then? There's there's people out there that well, the leaking gas, the electrics aren't safe. You know the the vans are rotten. Um, but the the, the the there's just masses of them at the moment. Um, I mean. It is dealers. There's a there's a lot of private sales with stuff that's yeah. going out that, like I said, you wouldn't keep chickens in. It's it's a render some of it. Um, fortunately, I'm that busy at the moment that I haven't really got time to be going to try and deal with these vans because you know I'm dealing with my regular customers. Um, but yeah, the, there's loads of stuff out there at the minute. I, I every week I'm getting. A dozen calls on people who've bought vans and they're just shocking i've actually got a customer who's got a brand new van that has got severe problems with that they've just um, rejected so and this is brand new i mean it's only three weeks old this van is so it's you have to wonder when people say they've done pdis and what they have actually done because i don't think I know what I know what Jason does for a PDI, um, and I know the the lengths he goes to to make sure that van's right for when it goes out. There's a lot of people out there that aren't even doing the basics. So, mate, can we get you back in a little bit? Because uh, we're just running away with time and answer the other questions. Yeah, yeah, no uh, worries. So if you want to get any more questions in. Uh, just, just get them in the comments and we'll make a note of them and we'll get Lee back in there uh, just after after the next people we've got on. Cool. See you in a bit. All right. See you in a bit, mate. Uh, there we now, go. Here are my favourite. This is my favourite guest. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Off in the sunshine. Off they go. Anyway, just get them on. My favourite, 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 favourite guests. Next the, that, the daft thing is, I'm looking at Andy's face and it's like, what is happening here? <laughs> oh, he's up. <laughs> he better psych himself off for later, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. It was, it was interesting you had Aaron on because obviously we did a tour of Ireland last year. We did. We did. Uh... Belfast to Dublin, the long way round. We did the wild yeah, Atlantic. You sent me a photograph. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, thanks for having us on the Pokemon show. It's uh, it's quite a different, quite a change of pace. Yeah, that's how we do it. <laughs> I love it when you come on every month. What have you been up to? Let's talk about you. 
Well, so where were we last time? We were in Lithuania last time we spoke to you. Yeah, Lithuania. Mm -hmm. we, were on a, we were staying at an art school, weren't we? There's yeah. also a campsite in Lithuania. So we've done Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and now we're in Slovakia. We are. We're in Eastern Slovakia right now. Shade? That's right. No, I, I, I thought you'd gone with the wind. <laughs> Just the comments, to be honest. <laughs> I know, I know. Usually, once you wind me up just... when I'm talking, you can't stop me. I know that's what usually happens. To be fair, it's just nice to have the silence from him. That's what <laughs> got me. It was. It's where we're staying tonight. It's where we are tonight in Slovakia. I was a bit worried about saying it because it? it's pronounced Kosice. Kosice. That's where we're staying. Kosice. Yeah. Say it again. Kosice. Okay. It's not difficult, Shade, is it? Go on, and Jason. Kosice. Kosice. <laughs> You'll go. Dead easy. Dead easy. Yeah. Kosice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's not. It's not said how it's spelled. If that makes any sense. Uh, yeah. As it's yeah, just how it's, spelled. it's just confusing as all the other so languages. So it's K O S. I described with a hat on it. It's got the triangle above it. Mm -hmm. um, I, see, I see. I see. E. I see. E. Yeah. Are you still enjoying yourselves? Oh, yeah, yeah. Love well, well, life. <laughs> well, how could you not be when this was what you, what you do, you know? We stayed on a winery last night. Yeah, we. Uh, so Slovakia, we found out, has got seven different wine regions just within the, this really small country. Um, and we headed over to eastern Slovakia, found a nice little winery, um, bought a couple of bottles of wine and said, hey, is it okay if we stay the night? And they were like, yeah, you know, you've bought some booze, stay in the car park. So we stayed over there and drank a lot more and uh, woke up this morning with a fuzzy head. Yeah. It's like, because like you point these videos up, and I'm like, God, you wear me out. <laughs> we don't, we, we don't stop very often, do we? No. We do, no. we do try quite a lot. Yeah, because like, it's like as if like you go around the world and die today. <laughs> it feels like it sometimes. I think the thing with us is we're not, although we're we're doing this full time, we're not we're not going to do this forever. So we're kind of there is a bit of a time limit, you know. We and we want to be back in the UK to spend Christmas with our families. And then we've got to consider that we may have to quarantine as well and all yeah. that stuff. So yeah, that, there is a bit of a time limit and we kind of want to see as much as we can, but, but not rush it too much. As much so as we want, can. You want, to get back, you want to get back for Christmas then? December. Yeah, we want to be back in the UK to, to spend Christmas with our families. Yeah. Now we then make sense. Cause like, I'm thinking like, well, you're off there. And you're like, boom, 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 boom. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, but you, I tell you what, you're visiting some stunning places. So the bits that the bit that really have astounded us is the Baltic <laughs> states. Like not not a lot of people. People go there for like a long weekend. They might go to Riga in Latvia or Tallinn in Estonia. Yeah. But people don't go there with their motorhomes from the UK or their caravans. Or if people do, they will have gone up to Norway, down Finland, and they just transit through on the way back. Yeah, but people go the long way around through Finland. Um, and the Baltic states are just just stunning, aren't They're they? They're beautiful. Absolutely and gorgeous. We worried that English would be an issue, as in people wouldn't speak English and we would struggle with the language. We, we didn't have a problem at all. Everyone we came across spoke some form of English or we could understand each other. It makes it does make you feel a little bit guilty, you know, yeah. going in and, and having to speak English and not understanding what they're saying. And they can obviously speak English. Um, I think I think we've said for the future that we'd like to try and make more of an effort to learn a bit more of some different languages before yeah. we travel. German is a very useful language for Europe because obviously the Germans travel a lot. Lots, therefore yeah, lots and lots of German vans, yeah. People in other la in other countries learn german as a second or third language so if you if you're going to travel around uh, mm. europe by motorhome it is quite useful to have a basic level of german because anywhere you go everybody's got a basic level of german because that's the predominant uh, nationality that tour around europe yeah are you winging it on the way round or have you got a plan no we 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 do it sort of Sort of week to week, week to week sort of thing, don't yeah, we? Yeah, because I mean, at the moment we'd plan to go Slovakia into Hungary, but Hungary, under as of the first of September, closed their borders to, to all foreign. foreigners. So yeah, you're not allowed into Hungary for a month. So we kind of that cut us off, and now we're going to head uh, west towards Austria, aren't we? Yeah, and then up into the Czech Republic, Czech Republic, or as it is now, Czechia, Czechia, um, and then back into Austria because we're actually. Sneakily, we've booked a couple of nights in a hotel for our wedding anniversary. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, first, hey, you first, deserve it. 
first two nights out of the van since Christmas? Since January. Since January, yeah. First two nights we've not slept in the van since January. So, uh, yeah, just just a little treat. Just a little treat. You can have a bath. <laughs> if it's got a bath, I'm having a bath. <laughs> Uh, I'd say it would have been a lot easier if a lot of people would have just turned around and gone home, wouldn't they, really? Shane, well, they, well, come on, wouldn't they? Fair they play. Done, yeah. Well, most people did, did, didn't they, really? Yeah. The COVID, well, in the fairness, that, that is completely down to Claire. Because I was I was the one that was saying, look, should we should we be staying here? Shouldn't we be hightailing back to Britain? And, and you were like... I was like, no, we have not travelled all the way to Europe to head back again. Yeah, we, we were all the way in Denmark at that point, and you were like, well, no. if we can stay, we might as well stay. We are safe and secure in our motorhome, and, you know, we as long as we can find somewhere where we can remain yep. secure and have electric and have all the stuff we need, mm -hmm. why would we Why would we go back? Because if we go back, there's nowhere for us to stay anyway. Yeah, exactly. So. Fair play. Um, John's been doing some videos of different campsites, and he did one of Europe as well the other week. Did, did you? Yeah, get we that? Can we bring John up, please? He's very good, isn't he? That was very a very, good. That was a very familiar sight. That. <laughs> that was yeah, such... did, you, did you see it with the with the bees and everything? Bees. Oh, lovely yeah. sight. It was, it was yeah. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Thank you again for doing that video. That was brilliant. Can I just say, can I just say something for everyone? Right, right, there was no need for you to do that, and that was a cracking, cracking video, mate. Both of it. No, yeah. seriously. Well, it's like, you know, it's like everybody says when they come in here. We love what you guys do, and we want to support it in any way we can. So yeah. doing stuff like that and coming on every now and again is is our way of saying thank you for doing the great show that you do. Yeah, we love it. Thank you. Oh, I'm quite touched by that. I love your vlogs as well. Yeah. I do love your videos. Um, uh, the museum one uh, was it a couple of days ago or last? Yeah, year? The, the Estonian National in, Museum. In yeah. Yeah. Honestly, the, the information. Even my wife has said, um, "How does Sam know all of this info? He's just like a, a, a full of knowledge. It's amazing." Oh, it's, we, uh, should, we should do a um, an out. You know. It's well, usually it's usually sort of, sort of half an hour. An outtakes. <laughs> we could walk around somewhere, taking it all in, then half an hour on Google, yeah. and then and then we try and do it in like one take. But something something we didn't mention that we forgot to put into the edit on that museum mm. is when you have your ticket, they ask you where you're from. Oh yeah. Um. So and you think, well, why do you need to know that? But it makes it clear when you go there. Um. If they've got smart ink screen, so it's like a Kindle. And you tap your ticket on the edge of the screen, and it changes all the information on that screen into your language. So every every exhibit, you can you can go in and read it in English or Spanish or Italian or German or whatever nationality you're in. So it, it's a it's a museum of Estonia that kind of is accessible to every nationality, Everyone, yeah. which is is brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. I one one question I did have is why didn't you go into the upside down house across the road? <laughs> I would have been in there like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> single country we just they're, they're a big they're a big tourist draw here in uh, well in in the baltic states and in poland as well oh yeah and they're everywhere and we just like if you drive past them every sort of two or three days and you're like yeah. there's another one there's another, another one. one there's another one <laughs> first time we saw it we were like that's really unusual and after the eighth or ninth one you're like oh yeah, yeah. hey look there's another upside down house <laughs> yeah that, that, that's the point we got to by the estonian one we were like oh <laughs> <laughs> No, brilliant. Like I say, thank you again for doing that video. It really appreciated. Um, if you want to do another, by all my own. Well, <laughs> I hope you do. I hope you do. They are brilliant. And, and you thank you for doing your vlogs as well. Because like I say, I've, I've yeah. um, since this, I've come across your channel. And I do, honestly, I do watch your videos and really, really like them. So, oh. yeah, no. Okay. And anybody who's watching, if oh, you don't good. follow Next Stop Everywhere, get on over to their channel after this is finished and uh, subscribe. Now he he really was to be taken as a serious serious um, presenter. So can we bring him on, please? All right, it's going to be like Parkinson. This is. It is. Oh, yeah. again. <laughs> no, no, that's what we thought. <laughs> that's what everyone's thinking. I think. Off you go. <laughs> I've got to ask questions. Why are you not in the caravan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because we don't have the license. Yeah, is the, is the, we're, the too, we're too young for the license. We're too we're too, uh, too young for the license. Yeah. 
fair enough. Have you ever have you ever rolled up to us anywhere and thought, oh, this this looks a bit dodgy. I'm, I'm not comfortable yeah. stopping here. Or we have, but we've usually stopped there. We still we... stayed there. <laughs> God, much other two. I can remember. I can remember on one that you said it looked it looked a bit funny, and then actually when you woke up the next morning, it was like, wow, this is this is amazing. Yeah, we, we get uh, a few of those. We we stayed in one the other night that we rolled up to. Uh, they look it looked like it, you know, it looked more like a building site than a campsite. It was half finished, and it was tiny little place. The guy, the guy who was running, it was just we just pulled up, and there was no one else there. The guy who was running it was uh, was sitting outside with a bottle of some spirit, like endlessly smoking chain cigarettes, and we thought <laughs> it was a bit dodgy. Um, but we pulled in and we paid the money and we thought, oh, we'll just stay tonight because it's dead easy. He didn't speak any English. He didn't speak any English. He only spoke Slo uh, Slovak. Um, and then he invited us over to to where he'd got this little bar. Well, he didn't really invite us. He didn't give us a no, choice. No, he just knocked on the door and said, you come and no. have a drink. <laughs> so we went over and had a drink with him. And we had this stuff called uh, Borovica. Borovica, oh. Which is like a 40% a proof it's juniper like, spirit. It's like gin moonshine. <laughs> they call it Slovak oh, moonshine. Yeah. So after that, the campsite was beautiful. Oh yeah, after that, <laughs> of that I don't remember a thing. It was yeah. amazing. But, but the thing is, them stories will last with you forever. Hmm. And then I guess that's why when we, we roll up to somewhere dodgy, we're like, yeah. well, let's just take a chance because you never know if you're going to have, have a fun experience at the end yeah, of it. Yeah, but as we said, so the guy spoke barely any English. He spoke a bit of German and multiple Slovak. And we still managed to have a conversation with him. Yeah, it was great. It was great fun. Um, and I think that's we. And in fairness, all the places we've been, all the sites we've stayed at, all the countries we've been through, we've never had a single issue, have we? No. We've never had. We've never been thrown off a site. We've never been shouted out. We've never had any kind of abuse. Even you think, uh, you know, being being British, traveling around Europe in the, at these time, you might get that, but it's been fine. Yeah. Have you have you worried going to? A country and sort of thinking, are we going to get locked in there, and are we going to just be stuck there and not be able to get out? Or they did do. We've done it, We've done it once, so we're quite happy to do it again. I think that uh, that's our yeah. If it happens again, it happens again. We, you know, we wanted to get back to Christmas, but if we don't, we don't. Yeah. So we just yeah. make it. Yeah. It's not going to be the end of the world. And if if that was to happen closer to December, and you're thinking, oh no, we've we've missed Christmas now. We've not got back. Yeah, and, it's, it gives us because we're more into Western Europe now. It, it allows us, if we need to, to be able to sprint back. You know, it would take from here or from where we're going to be back to Calais is probably a good sort of 12, 13 hours. Yeah. Um, in one long drive, so we it would yeah. be doable. But yeah, just we just sort of take take them as they come, don't we? We're, we're not planning anymore. We're being very very flexible with our locations. Yeah. I, I suppose you've got to, haven't you? It's literally just got to be take every day as it comes and. Yeah. And that, there, really. what's been so useful is is because because of the coronavirus thing here every most sites are empty and there's not a lot of people traveling and and if you turn up somewhere you're usually guaranteed to be able to get on um and it just it just makes the whole experience a lot easier i don't think it would be this easy um normally in the summer no we've not i mean all through the summer holidays we've not had to book ahead we've just turned up and there's been space we only got we only got turned away from one site didn't we well, no, we phoned. We'll, we'll phone that site, and they said no, there's no room. Yeah. But everywhere else, we just turned up, and there's been loads of room. Is um is a question. Is there anything you're missing from home, or is there any special food or anything like that? Something that what are you missing? Well, let's see. Sam's interesting thing he was missing was Yorkshire tea. I, I like a nice Yorkshire brew. Uh -huh. I do. And I ran out. Uh, they were they did they did sell it in the local supermarket where we were in Denmark, but yeah. we haven't been able to find it anywhere else. So I got my uh, in laws. I got Claire's parents. To send a big box of it to that a care, a care package out for you. Yeah, just yeah. just a big box of tea, nothing else. Yeah, just we, a big box. we were we were meeting friends from the UK who had just moved to Latvia. Yeah. So my parents sent a box of two hundred and eighty Yorkshire tea bags <laughs> to Latvia. So that was all It's all good. What about you? Have you missed anything? No, no. They sell chocolate all through Europe. <laughs> and, and coffee. Coffee. coffee, coffee that's it. I don't have an issue with coffee because they don't. I, I hate. I hate instant coffee. I'm a coffee snob, so I hate instant coffee. And I'm not a big fan of espresso or Italian coffee. I like a good old fashioned drip coffee. A yeah, proper there coffee. There you go. So coffee and chocolate. Coffee and chocolate. Happy That's days. Oh, That's all you need. <laughs> Sounds like a podcast. <laughs> right. Right, you two. <laughs> Thanks very much for oh, I love having you pair on, you know. When whenever whenever we plan the open mic, they never ask me who I want on. I'm like, why would you ask me? Well, it's like, 
Backstop everywhere, mate. I was like, what? <laughs> Are you going to join me next month? Yeah, we'll, we'll come back on next yeah, month. Yeah, I, I know. know. I, I need know you next month. month. Without we'll giving anything it. away, without giving anything away, I need you next month. Okay. Well, okay, right. Something big's happening, and I need you on yeah. my side. Is it like next a Pokemon month. card tournament or something? Is that what it is? It's, it's <laughs> some type of tournament, but it's going to be better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, know later. we'll be there. We'll yeah. let you know later. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Good. Let's get YouTube next up everywhere. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thank you. My favorite open micers. <laughs> Been Cheers, great, guys. Then. Look after yourselves. Take care. Bye. 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 What we got next? Got got we're, going, we're going on pretty quick. I love that. Oh, I love that. I know band. you do. I do. I really, really do. Uh, we better move on because we're, we're running away with time. We only planned it now, didn't we? Uh, we need Lee back up, don't we? Okie dokie. This is Biddle Lee. This is Biddle Lee, right, trying to get all the comments in. A tortoise blowing smoke. Really? Oh, just act your age and act like a kid for a change. I've been building Lego all day. <laughs> oh. I've been building the Ewald village. So when you missed it, did you like go like that? <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> right. And then were you all happy when you did that? <laughs> I, I know, I'm not going to say anything. Right, what have we got, mate? Right. Teresa Timms. Uh, can you leave a motorised dump valve open when not using a van to allow the pipes to dry out? Now, I know when you shut the 12 volt off, some close themselves. Um, I'm not sure which ones you've got. The only downside to leaving dump valves open is it all allows all sorts of things to climb inside your pipework. Um, so especially if you're leaving a fresh water tank dump valve open, then you, I wouldn't advise it because it'll allow all sorts to climb inside it. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, these. Per, I'd personally, I'd um, close them when not in use. After you've, after you've dumped everything out, basically, I'd close them again. Um, so it's Blunt a good shout back. that is actually, Lee, to be honest. Yeah, it's... Dump everything out, close them back up again. It just stops them getting anything in. Um, Phil Blunt came back asking if he could do WD-40 instead of silicon spray, but um, really, Ruther Robson's jumped in and said, uh, obviously, no, it's 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 a completely different thing. It's it's a petroleum-based lubricant, you know, penetrating oil, not a silicon spray. Used for a different thing. So, really, silicon spray. Tin silicon spray is not too expensive to keep in the van. Um it's probably cheaper than WD-40, in all honesty. Um, what was the other one? Brian Matthews um, came in with I've Trigag tra oh, really? Trigana Challenging Motorhome, what's called a floating roof. The outer skin is not attached to the interior. Want to fit a solar panel with Sikaflex? Will it stay on the roof? Uh, it'll stay on the roof. That's that's not a problem. It's uh, once Sikaflex goes off, it won't be going anywhere. Uh, I, in all honesty, I, I couldn't be 100% sure without checking further into it. It shouldn't be fitting the solar panel onto the roof. It should be the brackage, I um, believe, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's what he means is the solar panel brackets. But, uh, yeah, um, your best bet would be to get in touch with your Trigano dealer and check on that because I I wouldn't like to say yes and be wrong. I'd rather yeah. advise you to, to check with your dealer and see what they say, especially if it's a, a if it's a van under warranty because you don't want to do something that's going to put your warranty at risk. So there you go. That's been about it, mate. Is that it? I think that's unless there's anything else. Just oh no, no, sorry. Is there was one here? Uh, b -b -b Oh, there we go. This is the Burson Argos 747. Squeaky brakes. 
Is that a, mo- is that a motorhome? Motorhome. Yeah, 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 yeah. New one. Yeah. Squeaky brakes. Normally, squeaky brakes are just dirty, aren't they? Yeah, um, for a mechanic that makes sense. If yeah, know. that's that's a mechanical sort of yeah. issue if you've got squeaky brakes. But normally, squeaky brakes are down to dirt in them. Okay. Now, there's two more, which uh, both Leanne Laurie and this person is questioned. Is a 750 pilot. Why are PDI done? Being done by the dealer. If missed, it's the customer who gets the aggro. Why don't they PDI it before it left the factory? What happens to quality checks when they come off the production line? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how. The thing is, a lot of manufacturers won't let the likes of myself go in and see how these things are put together. Um, so we don't know what they do when they come off you know they have to have certification for the gas they have to have certification for electric the actual build i know from speaking to a particular manufacturer's engineers who were out doing a recall on a van um that quality control within the actual place of manufacturer depends on how desperate they are for the vehicles to get out and that came direct from engineers so Lee, that's a whole new subject, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, it's been transported from the manufacturer to a dealer anyway. You know, so a dealer should be checking that things are right before before vans go out. I mean, there's obviously things that they can't check. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, it, like you say, it's a whole different conversation, really. Yeah. Anything else? Um, Brian Matthews just come in, yes, with brackets to fit, but the roof is waving up flat. Not a screw in or anything, the van's not under warranty, right? Trigano roofs with the like, um, wavy roofs that they, they have a special thing for the wavy roofs, roof, like, the wavy <laughs> roof. <laughs> they, they have a uh plate for fitting the roof lights on i have no idea where you get those things from because i've inquired several times i even got a supplier who deals with trigano direct and even they said we can't get hold of them so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tricky one that to be honest with you with because you've got to have a good contact point if if you're unsure i'd say no um, yeah, but it still has a floating roof to put two so I've reached in sick flex, it's rock solid. Yeah, again, it's it's being comfortable with it going on. If it's if, if you're unsure, better to check with dealers, you know, the manufacturers rather than or what they would recommend for fitting a solar panel onto it. Yeah, it's a good shout, that is like. I think this format's worked better with us with the uh, technical questions, don't you? Yeah, yeah. The chance to get everything in. I, I, have you found it, Lee? Better. Yeah, that's that's yeah, loads easier. I'll, you've I'll, got you've got time to look at what people have sent in, and and whatnot before you can give them an answer. So, all right, mate. Well, just thanks. just Go on, just, for, just very quickly, I, they, just going back to what we we're just saying. Greg's got it right here. The dealer really does, does take the brunt of it, don't they? When there's well, something at the end the of the day, being made. if if when you buy something, your warranty stands with the supplying dealer, not the manufacturer. So the first port of call for any warranty claim is your supplying dealer. So, yeah, correct. Yeah, but it's so all, it is always it is always why, the dealer that gets. Yeah, it is all there is yeah, the dealers that get yeah. it over. But all the dealers say that it's out without not checking it off, though. I I would say quite quite often. Yeah. You know, I've Just I've been to vans that second hand vans that have supposedly been PDI'd um, and cleaned, and I've found things in in the van when I've gone to it. It's literally been towed from the dealers to a storage yard, and they've said, "Can you check it over?" And you know, I've arranged to be there got there and said there's no way this has been checked and cleaned because there's either damp in it or there's you know there's something 
been left inside it that wouldn't be there if if it had been cleaned, etc. So, well, it, there's the other one, isn't it, Lee? Uh, don't get me started on this. How many times have you gone to to do gas tests, and the gas hoses <clears throat> are so out of date? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I did. I did one this week. Um, 2005 Ca- Bailey Caravan still got the original gas hose and regulator on. So you know the gas hose has been out of date for for ten years, um, and the the regulator's been out of date for for five years. So yeah, ease one, mate. This sounds harsh, but never know why deals are brand new vans are obviously mega issues, and they just say we'll get sorted when it has a PDA. If I was on the van would get sorted before selling. Now, I'm just going to give another angle on that. It's, rolling with the Robsons, you have one van which is selling and you're going to get sorted before you're selling. A motor home dealership or a caravan dealership has probably got 50 of them. Now, the priority mm. for the dealership is the ones that have sold is to get them sorted before they go out. Now, if they haven't got a load of vans that are sold, then they would get them sorted before they went out. And that's the position I'm in. I have and to the, get the ones that are sold first. But we would like to problem, get them all done. Yeah, yeah. And the other problem is, is they could be sat there for a year before they do sell. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay getting them PDR before, when they first come in. But if they're, I mean, there's, there's dealers that have vehicles in stock for two, three years before they get sold. That's a lot of deterioration in that time that can happen. It's only so much to do, isn't best, best bit of advice, if you're going to buy a brand new van, have a bit of finance on it. Doesn't yeah. matter if you can yeah. afford it, have a bit of finance on it. But having said that, the, the new, because, sorry, the uh, what's it, Consumer Rights Act 2015, that covers you a lot. That covers you massively. Yeah. For the I first mean, I've, six months, I've, certainly. I've done... Um, I've done inspections for Black Horse um, for some, you know, for people that have, you know, rejected vans and stuff. Um, some of them are pretty much, yeah, there's there's an issue, um, and some people will just try the look. But once yes. a, once a finance company gets involved, then dealers and manufacturers start to take things a bit more seriously than someone just coming in and waving their hands and shouting at people. We could go on like this all night, couldn't we? Yeah. Right, mate. Thanks for that. We'll see you next week. No problem. No, I'm an oldie next week. You are? Again? I'm an oldie. Again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm on holiday next week. So, answering really all busy. your technical really questions next. So, answering all your technical questions next week. Right, mate. Uh, I'll speak to you in the week. All right. All right. Catch you in a bit. See you later. Ciao, mate. That worked better, mate, didn't it? It did, yeah. It did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if you're booking a service, if you're around the shops, your area, I'll be Caravan Services. Um, now, he might be a bit nervous, mate, because it's a long time since he's been on YouTube. So he could be a bit nervous. I didn't find his channel, actually. I actually did find it on the History Channel. Um, so shall we bring him in? Okay. Have we got a video first? We have got a video first. Let's kick. Let's kick off the video. Yeah, you've caught up. I'll be quiet. That was taken in the summer of '69 with his grandkids. Sorry, you're gonna to have to say again. I turned my uh, I turned turn the speakers down. <laughs> Not and bad. That thing. was taken in the summer of '69. <laughs> How are you, Jen? Um, I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. It has this been. This is YouTube. A while. We're on now. You know. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The last time I was on YouTube, I uh, I got rid of my hair. Yeah, we can see how big it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get his mucker on, John? Yeah, Come I feel on, like uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let, let me just get the order out. Right. Right. Let me let me get this sorted. Out. <laughs> there we go. Right. Hello, Mr. Wally. Right. We're on top now, kid. What on earth is that shirt you're wearing? Hey, this is my this is a nice flowery Hawaiian. Into type. barbecue or something? No. This I just I like to I bring and inject a certain amount of colour and enthusiasm into this show, like like what we do, you know. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm very well, thanks. I'm very well. Good. Good to have I'm you on good. the show. Thanks very much for having me. As I said, it's um, it has been a while. We've had a break, um, but I am back. A break, more like a bloody sabbatical. <laughs> a, a while, uh, nine months. <laughs> has it been that long? Yes. Okay, yeah. you've done the head shave, which was the live, and okay. obviously you do the podcast with with me and dan as well yeah um but your last video that i i checked out was about nine months ago man oh, no. <gasps> <laughs> but you have had a busy summer haven't you yeah i mean I, I sort of did foresee this uh this question which was what you know what was the reason for the break <laughs> um you know and there was there was a there was a combination of things really i, I i'm not i'm not going to um i'm not going to pick any bones about it really i, I think it was a bit of a, a motivation side of things. Um, a, certainly a, a sort of work-life balance that, you know, I'd said to people before about how much time it's sort of taken to, to produce these videos, as, as you guys know. Mm. Um, you know, and, and I was ended up with no time with to spend, you know, with Kate, my wife, and, and the kids. It was always, you know, at work all day, editing. Oh, sorry, working away and then coming home and editing for two or three hours a night. It, was, it, it just kind of got to me, really. Other than that, you know, talking a massive... Major, before you, can I just cut in there before you go? Carry on. What he's just said there, people don't realise until they actually do it. You go to work all day like the guy does. You come home, you've got... Editing is so, so hard. Um, to, like he says, two or three hours, and it can burn you out. And sometimes you do just have to walk away for a while. Sorry to cut in there, mate. No, and that's completely it, you know. Uh, of course, you know, we could see that people were commenting. People were asking, is everything okay? I'm sorry, everything is fine. Um, I mean, it did also coincide last year with, with taking on an enormous garden project, which uh, the reason for doing that was to save a bit of cash. Um, but it did take me a hell of a lot longer than I'd had I'd had expected. I mean... Last summer, I was, you might know, we, we went to Spain. Um, the day before, I was still doing jobs on on the garden, and we hadn't even packed the caravan or the car until we left uh, until the morning of the night we left. It it was that it was that close. Um, garden looks good now, though. <laughs> Done a good job. Have you got the barbecue finished now? Yeah, it's all good finished. work. It's all good. <laughs> oh God! Now you started Shane off. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, I forgot about Shane and his barbecues. <laughs> what, what have you had done, Andy? I built um, I built my own brick barbecue. Okay. So I bought a kit during lockdown, I think, um, and then and then built it up over the course of about just over a week. Um, never, I had laid bricks once before, but nowhere near as many. Um, and it's it, it's finished. It's not perfect, but I'm happy with with what it is. And I, and I kind of got all my advice from YouTube and various various brickies and stuff like that. And their advice, it was um, it seemed to you really you to, really uh, appreciate a good brickie when you see them putting up at the rate that they oh, do. Mate, then you, you see some of these guys in there saying on site they're laying a thousand bricks a day, and you look at it and go, well, it took me a week. <laughs> <to make 200." laughs> yeah, but. You know, so, Andy, uh, the serious interviewing questions. Um, okay. <laughs> so, your channel, obviously, uh, are there videos coming? Have you done some? Have you yeah. done some filming? I mean, even though I hadn't been sitting in front of the computer editing, we had. We, I have still shot uh, holidays as though I was going to med edit them. You know, we were away over Christmas um, in the northeast, and and I and I shot all of that. Um, I just hadn't. I just hadn't sat down to to do it. And, it, you know, the, the summer project last year for the, was for the garden. This year, it's rolled into this year, but, you know, work has been the way that it has. And, of course, with, with lockdown, I was, for the company I work for, I was one of only three staff that weren't furloughed out of 15. Um, and, and the last thing I wanted to do, having spent, you know, all day in this office, the last thing I wanted to do was sit down. You know, I, did, I needed to get out. But you prefer to start your midlife project, wouldn't you? 
<laughs> we'll come on to that. I'll we'll come on to that. that. <laughs> so the person with the midlife shirt. <laughs> I'm a shirt. God, I get so much grief on this show about my bloody shirts. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, so Sorry. to answer your question, John, um, there's a there's a series from when we've just been to Cornwall. We were in True Ethic Farm um, just over a week ago, and I'm not sure when that's going to hit. It will either be this week or next week. Um, the new intro was something I wanted to get done first, um, and now that that's done, um, it, it's a case of you come back to editing and you got to re you got to relearn to yeah. edit using the the program and software you've been using before, and that takes a bit of time to get back up to speed. But I mean, hopefully, all the viewers uh, already subscribe to your channel. Um, but if if they don't, obviously, as a fellow caravanner, <laughs> uh, ju just a little bit about your channel. What what do you do? Yeah, okay. So back in um, back in in 2017 was when we launched our first video, um, and it was an introduction as to who we are. It was off the back of of Dan Trudgeon's sort of um, shout out really to say, let us know who you are, video you van, what you like, what you don't like, and introduce yourself. And and we're a family of five. Um, and and really the, the whole emphasis behind making videos was really remembering the holidays that we've been on and also seeing the kids grow. And I think actually when we release this next series of videos, people are going to say, oh my goodness, how much have they grown in that last 12 months since you went to Spain last summer? To, to what you know to what they are now and it's i mean finn in the case of in the course of lockdown i think he's grown four inches <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say it's been a while since since we've seen finn obviously we met up with you guys uh, a couple of months back yeah um for a, 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 for us we're a cheeky one-nighter yeah. Um, but it was again, like you say, the girls have just sprouted up. And... Well, Finn, Finn, so Finn's thirteen. He's the same. He's he's as tall as me. Mm. Of course, I tell him he's shorter, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's only by a <laughs> So yeah, that, and that that was the you know the the reason and the motivation for us. Uh, and there was no other purpose there. There was no other agenda. It was just for us to to share our holidays and our experiences. And I kind of like putting the I enjoyed learning how to put the videos together to try and make it better and and that's kind of the person that i am really and it felt also a bit like i was just doing the same same all the time because ca ca the caravanning <laughs> vlogging wasn't your first sort of entry into youtube videos was it no <laughs> <laughs> i made a few videos i know you Molly. <laughs> sorry so I, I first i mean i first came across youtube really when i wanted to learn to ride a motorbike um, and I was, you know, pre-test sort of days, really. And, and we did the same when we before we bought the caravan, and that's how we, we found Dan's channel and how we found, mm -hmm. you know, a few other vloggers as well. Uh, but right. no, I made a few videos. Right, here we go. I think why you've not been on quite as often is because of this podcast you do. What's it <laughs> called, John? What you... Every, hang on. Is it Caravan Chat and Coffee? <sighs> Andy, look at you. Well, see I'm, what I've got to put up with. Week on, week out. I've got an help idea. I'm going to help Andy. Go on then. Now this caravan coffee chat thing, Malaki, you do caravan right? coffee and cake. Cake, that's it then. By the time we've talked about it, by the time it gets released, it's all juice. <clears throat> well, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to dump Dan. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. We don't was need wasn't, him. wasn't Dan meant to be on tonight? Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Look how we flow together. Right. He won't do live. He can't do live. Now look at this. We could call it caravan, camper van, coffee, cake. CC, CC. <laughs> and we're going to start it. And we're going to start it next Sunday. We're going to have a ten-minute segment. We're going to break it Andy in slowly because he needs the practice. <laughs> he's, been, he's been out of it for a long time, hasn't he? He has, but we're going to bring him in slowly. And we're going to talk motorhomes and caravans. What's better? And we'll have a 10 minute segment every Sunday and we'll bring it on. Andy, I forgot to man. mention this, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Next Sunday. The big man is gone. The big man's gone. He's Even gone. Who... He's he going to be editing for the, uh, for the podcast. Yeah, for the podcast. <laughs> and to be fair, we're supposed to be recording one on Tuesday, aren't we? No, so. I've told him. I, it's done. I've told him. The contract's signed. So let's just sort it. It's done. We've sorted the fees, haven't we, and all that sort it's of stuff. It's all done. It's, it's all done, basically. 
Why, why was Andy on. getting more than me? Because he, he's, he's got hair. Well, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Fees, that would be a fine. <laughs> Do it for love. It's all for love. The thing is, the thing is, Andy, is the beauty of doing it live, you haven't got air to tell you something. No, there is that, isn't and there? And that's I, where Dad had got you. That's where he got you. <laughs> Luke, I, I, I'm hearing, I this. hearing, I, sorry, hearing I'm, Bear and Sam about saying, you know, the one take thing, that, that seriously helps when the editing. Um, oh, mate, Andy, was, uh, you, you know, know, how long do our podcast records actually take? I mean, we, Dan, that, no, Dan long, magically condenses it in the 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, here he is! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's probably about a three-hour natter, something like yeah. that. So, Dan, next Sunday on the Motorhome and Caravan Show, we'll be having a 10-minute segment of the CC and CC of Motorhome and Caravans. <laughs> if you want to tune in and comment on our little section, feel free. <laughs> what do you reckon, Andy? Yeah, yeah, whatever. We, um... See? <laughs> How shallow. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me a pint. <laughs> oh. So, we'll, Andy, what's, what's we'll see plan? What plans? We'll see. <laughs> Hang on, let's bring it back to our guest. Dan, Dan didn't want to come Dan, on. See, see what I mean? See? Yeah. <laughs> Even your mockers don't want you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy will be in trouble now. <laughs> No, well, in fact, my phone's going already. <laughs> John, John, yes. he's going to get rid of you anyway. Was he? Is that what he said? Yeah. Andy? Uh, said Andy, do you know like anything about this? He said he didn't like his shirts. What's the word again? He said, I, I don't this one. he said you talk. the reason why it took him so long to edit was because you talked too long. Oh, well, that <laughs> Andy knows that is not true. <laughs> that is completely like, the other way around. <laughs> Uh, he says you're not current and relevant to him. His <laughs> well, at least at least we're caravanners. Oh, sorted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What Andy, were you going to ask, John? Sorry, mate. What were you going to ask? Um, so, what, what's what's the plans next? Um, what are your plans? So, obviously, we've got a series of, of videos coming up. Yep. Um. Uh, it- to be honest, I mean, I could go through the backlog of uh, catalog, sorry, of, of footage I've got. Uh, I mean, in terms of trips, I actually haven't booked a campsite for for quite some time. I've heard that it's quite difficult to get older pitches. Mm. Um, we're away shortly. Um, I won't say when, um, and I have, we haven't got any more trips booked um, up to Christmas. So I don't really know. To be quite honest with you, you know, it's a bit of a change. Obviously, the kids going back to school, getting. Yeah. Him- that again um so i don't know to be quite honest with you we, we we obviously i mean i need to try harder these guys you know um claire and sam <laughs> they're all around <laughs> europe i need to try bloody harder <laughs> they're putting everybody up to shame shame yeah <laughs> they're just rocking up to sites <laughs> yeah. i know um, i mean we've got a few sites that we've um you know that we like uh, and that we'll we'll head back to um, you know, but genuinely, I've got very, very little planned um, mm. this side of Christmas. And, and next year, we've next year. Well, one thing that I'll mention on the the podcast. Hopefully, it'll be uh, edited and put together and released uh, fairly soon. But I've got quite a big, um, exciting challenge next year, um, which uh, yeah, which is happening in uh, July. Um, but summer holiday wise, next year we are already booked to go to France. We were meant to go there this year and we deferred it. So that will be our holiday next summer. Um, dates yet, not sure, not entirely sure where exactly we're going, you know, roughly. Um, but other than that, no no huge plans. Can we bring our uh, new presenter on, please? He's itching to ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he Andy. Put his headphones back in. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. I'm still researching everything this week, you know. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. I looked and I couldn't find anything. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you should be sticking with the caravanners. 
I am, I am. I'm just leading him down a path. Don't worry. I'm just <laughs> sending, him on, sending him on his little Pokemon path of fury down the wrong way. Him and his uh, Pokemons. Pokemon path. So, what, what plan have you got? To, what, what, I mean, you, you, you've got a caravan, so uh, have a nice to home. What caravan is it that you've got, Andy? We have a Pegasus and a Lomo. Oh, nice. And why is it that you don't go for a, a motor home, Andy? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, the, the size motor home we would need, I would probably need to remortgage the house. That's why. It's very expensive, um, aren't you? You can buy an, a lovely caravan and car for an awful lot less, can't you? Well... Yeah, or just the caravan, to be honest, because the car's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so we we looked at we've looked at motorhomes. Um, I remember going around the show at Malvern probably about ten years ago, perhaps, and had a wander around there and was like, "Wow, yeah, this this is seriously out of our budget." <clears throat> um, that's if you want to buy new. Of course, you don't have to buy new. Um, but Even we... used, those are scary money, aren't they? Yeah. Where's this going? <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting the point that caravans are much better than motorhomes. That's all I'm saying. I it, 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 for me, I, I'm, I'm, I, whilst I am on, on your side, um, I'm quite level-headed about this, and I think it depends on your use. You know, there is definitely an advantage to bombing along at 70 mile an hour on a motorway in Europe if you've got a long distance to travel and not doing 50. <laughs> you know, well, why don't we ask somebody? Why don't we ask somebody? Come on, Sam Claire. Well, let's ask them. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, well, first of all, we're very insulted that that motorhomes are not a good thing because they are a good thing, they are. Um, and if you're bombing along at 70 on a motorway and the, mo the motorways in europe are massive and wide and smooth and lovely motorhome is perfect why would you want to be towing something plus as, as i came across when we were first on we're not old enough we don't have a towing license that's the other thing we don't have the we don't have the uh, the license for it how old do you think i am uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> how, how are we supposed to answer that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Are, are you allowed to do 70 mile an hour in a motor home now? Uh, I believe right, if, it's, if it's under yeah. three and a half tons, you are. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Because yeah. ours is only 3.3. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll do 70 and... No, it'll only do 70. Yeah, it'll only do 70. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all you, yeah. <laughs> and some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think there's, there's, there's a bit of a debate here, isn't there, about the caravans and the... Motorhomes. It's a similar it's, uh, debate to uh, to saying whether you buy a refillable gas bottle or not. Yeah, mm. that's got us a fair it. tangent, hasn't it? <laughs> well, no, it's either it's either one or the other. It seems to be there didn't doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, yeah. I can understand why that's good, and I can understand understand why that's good. It's either one or the a, other. I don't. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't think there's a show in that. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we're going to discuss refillable gas bottles <laughs> with Mark. <laughs> Use, useful information. It's very cheap on the refillable ones. <laughs> hey, we've run away with ourselves. Andy, uh, joking about to make good luck on your future videos and everything else and I, I, i'm totally with you mate where you need why you need to have a break uh we all need to have a break in it and sometimes you've just got to go whoa let's get back on with personal life a little bit thanks but uh, before moving back on and i, I know where you're coming from we do joke about it but the videos you have done brilliant uh, brilliant videos um next week we're going to start our new uh, 10 minute section Together, CC and CC. <laughs> <laughs> I will have a discussion about cameras and campus. Like I say, the big man has gone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get back to my phone. I know. Big man I has gone. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've handled everything. Like I say, John, he was going to get rid of me anyway. <laughs> Uh, it couldn't break the news, so I've done it for you. All right? It was going to... Yeah. Like, like, 
I'm not being funny with you, right? It was Mark who was going to take your place. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't worry, John. They won't pay me enough. Don't worry. <laughs> so, we'll do the 10-minute segment next week. And we'll announce Dan has gone next week. And we'll start the new podcast. So, Fair enough. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm not. Don't worry. Andy, I'm not. don't worry. Don't worry. Stick with us. The C, C, and C, C. C. <laughs> Easy for you to see. Yeah, so we're back to normal next week. We're going to do a couple of motor reviews, a couple of caravan reviews. Uh, we're going to do Ask Lee. We're going to do campsite reviews. And we're also going to do our new CC and CC Dan has gone. You'll see. Yeah, I'll come You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Well, I've got to go to get him down. You can see where this is going. Are we going to be over the Pokemon next week? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, I nearly, I nearly slipped up. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, right. Are we all done? All right. Good yeah. show. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, well, for well, tuning in. Yeah, thanks very much, everybody. Um, we'll see you next yeah, week. Um, and we'll see everybody except from Desktop Everywhere, but we'll definitely see you at the end of the month. See you later. Thank you.